RC is coming back at you with another unboxing video. But before we do that, I want to uh, give you guys a little update on the RJ Speed 24 inch dragster. Give you a look at it real quick here. Uh, all I got left to do is uh, just paint and uh, install the rear wing. So here, I'll move you over here and give you a quick little look up close. I went with a candy apple red. I went with a candy green. Come on, focus. I went with a silver backer, a blue candy, and then just your normal paints. Um, I painted this a day in advance, but the silvers bled through. The copper was fine, but the silver, silver bled through. I don't know why, but it did. Um, no big deal. It's just a little dry car. I still think it come out. It come out pretty good, guys. I think it come out pretty nice. There we go. She focused there. I think it came out pretty nice, guys. I should have uh, probably added a little color down at the tip. Next time, if I do another one, I will add some color. Well, I'll do a totally different design, but I'll add a little color here. I probably should have colored the nose and then went with my stripe combination. And then with my blue stripe, I should have carried the blue stripe up around onto the cab. But that's okay. I think I like it this way. And like I say, next time I do another one, uh, it'll be a little different. But that's what it's looking like so far, guys. That's the RJ Speed 24-inch drive car. I still have, like I said, I got the rear wing to put on it. And um, I've got some lights to add to it, guys. I left certain spots on this car uh, taped. Like all your exhaust ports are taped over, so those are clear. So those will have lights in all the exhaust ports. I left the... Uh, the blower clear so you'll have lights in the blower and right now I got the belt clear it's just got a piece of green tape over it because I didn't have any black paint and I didn't want the belt to be silver or red or anything so I need some black paint and paint that up but we're gonna have lights coming out of the blower and we're gonna have lights coming out of the exhaust guys so that should look pretty cool it should look pretty neat if you talk to you over here so on to what we're uh, on to what I'm up. Excuse me, got tongue tied here. On to the unboxing, guys. Let's move this out of the way. All right, guys. This is something I've wanted for quite a while. Something I've wanted for quite a while, and I've just put it off because I've been buying so many other style RCs and stuff. But uh, I have his younger brother, and I, I love it. Uh, I love, I love it. So what it is is it's the Red Cat Gen 8 V2 guys. Uh, it's not a ready. Well, I guess it would be a ready to run. Um, it comes with the truck and the remote. You've got to buy the, you got to buy a battery and a charger. But otherwise than that, it, it has everything with it. Like, like, uh, like the Gen 7, it comes with a 550 brushed motor. It comes with a 60 amp Hexfly ESC, 25 kilogram servo. It is waterproof or water resistant. If it's anything like my Red Cat, she's pretty waterproof. Um, fully detailed, guys fully detailed from from the chrome clevises that hang from the bumpers to uh hold that so you guys can see it you know to the light buckets the, the headlight buckets and the taillight buckets are phenomenal they, they are so awesome and the little details like your reese hitch in the back they give you a reese hitch cover and the cover is a little red cat uh little red cat emblem itself that is so cool it uh comes with your licensed super swampers just like the gen 7 it's calling massive ground clearance up to a 61 degree angle approach, guys. That's pretty good. You have a 39.5 uh, departure. It's a 20 millimeter ground clearance. It says precision steering, 5 degree caster angle, up to 47 degree total steering angle. Wow, guys, so it goes beyond 45 degree turning angle. That's pretty cool. Okay, it's got a double, uh, double transmission, lockable slipper clutch. 32P uh, spur and pinion gear, heavy duty mod 1 gears, that's awesome, comes with mod 1 gears automatically, sweet, it's got a divorce transfer case, centrally mounted transfer case, heavy duty mod 1 gears, 
It's got metal shocks and metal links. That's a plus. Um, comes with the portal axles. It says they reduce torque twists. Uh, metal wheel hexes. Nice. Metal gear cover. Uh, cap shock mounts. Mod 1 steel gears. CNC aluminum spool. A lot of metal in this, guys. Awesome. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, heavy doodle axles and portals, yes. Beautiful. So everything I've done to my Gen 7, this comes with its stock. The only difference between this and my Gen 7 is my Gen 7 is a center motor, and this is a front motor in the front of the vehicle, so I can't wait to try it out uh, with the different weight distribution to see how, how it works. From what I've seen on them, they're an awesome rig. Um, I did order the purple one, guys, but you don't always get what you ask for, which is no problem because I, I like all the colors. So here, enough of the box. Let me uh, get into some of the other stuff real quick here before I show you the car. So it comes with a bag of parts. I spun around here. Sorry, guys. I'm all this, this messed up here. There we go. Comes with a bag of parts. Your regular bag, a bag of parts. Yes, well, let's cut rid of these bags. Let's get these parts real quick. I love getting stuff in the bags. It's like Christmas time. Always, they come with a bind plug. Always. I got so many bind plugs, it seems crazy. Between, between bind plugs and uh, wheel wrenches, <laughs> I, I got a, yeah, I got a ton. Wow, guys. It comes. It comes with a hitch in the bag for the Reese hitch, guys. That is cool. I didn't know it came with a hitch for the Reese hitch. Comes with the Eclipse for your lights. They go in your light buckets. Some kind of an X bracket here. I'm not sure what that's for. Yep. They got taller shock towers. Two other shock towers. So it looks like you can change the shock towers. Got some spaces here. It looks like they go on the shock towers, maybe. So that's cool. It looks like some shock towers, some screws to install them with. Um, a hitch for your Reese hitch and a bunch of clips for your lights. Like I say, an X brace, and I don't quite know what that X brace is for yet. I'll have to look into that. And then basically, you're just your red cap manual that comes with all your red caps. It tells about the car. There should be a pretty good blow up in there that shows you all the all the parts and pieces. So here, let's get into the truck. Well, not yet, actually. It also comes with this, guys. It comes with a sticker sheet or a decal sheet. So it allows you to add different decals. Allows you to add different decals to the side. Let me see if I can get that light off so it's not so glary on you guys. There we go. So you have different on the sides. You can add different scout. You get different license plates. All kinds of different emblems and stuff that you can use, guys. And you guys know me. They'll end up on all my cars. So that's pretty awesome. They, it comes with a sticker sheet. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Now to the piece of resistance, guys, what we're here for. Like I said, I wanted the purple. I got the green. Nothing wrong with that, guys. I love the green, too. I also love the green. I'm going to turn the light back on here. Love the green. Like it says, it comes with your little accessories. They're plastic right here, guys, but uh, they're, they're, they're on there. They're clevises. They look cool. I mean, they'll be plenty strong enough for, for anything I do with this truck. And uh, I like them. I like the bumper versus the Gen 7. Uh, when the Gen 7, when I got the Gen 7, if you guys remember, the Gen 7's bumper cuts way down here. So it hung down a good inch and a half. I like that they've made this bumper uh, within like three quarters of an inch at the thickest point. Gives you a ton of clearance here in the front end. I really like that, how narrow that bumper is. Now if you can see the, the headlight buckets, guys, per, the real headlight buckets. Get real tail light buckets also with it, guys. It's crazy. The, the amount of detail they put into this. There's your Reese cover with the little red cat, red cat uh, cover that covers it. it. It's just beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. It comes with chrome. They are plastic rims, but still, they come with chrome bead locks with your super swampers. Flip it up here. 
It's got a three-link suspension in the front, four-link in the rear. The reason it's got a three-link in the front, not a four, is because of the portal axles. You can only run it to the three-link, I believe, with the portal axles. It's looking really nice, guys, underneath. It's nice and smooth. It's, it's, it's clean. There's nothing to get fetched up on. There's no sharp, sharp points. There's no little divots. Everything, that's nice. Nice. Let's flip it over and take a look at this. I don't scratch it up. Now, if you've noticed, there's no body pins, guys, anywhere. If you guys have watched on these before, you already know. But for you, you guys that haven't, uh, it's a Velcro top, guys. Just Velcro's right on. And the way they've got it made with the... Which camera am I on here? Right there. With these uh, wheel wells, it makes it so it drops in over these wheel wells here perfectly. So you don't have to worry about lining the body up. You just drop it on, guys. It lines up perfectly. It's excellent. Take that off for a minute. We'll flip it over here. Excuse me. <clears throat> awesome. Bring you guys over and give you a closer look. Hopefully I don't mess up the camera too much with it. Alright, come on. Focus. Here we go. So this is the back of the truck here, guys. All kinds of room if you needed to add anything. You get plenty of room to add another servo if you wanted to go with rear steer. Here's your hex slide, um, ESC, which is lipo and um, nickel kyad there, an impact or whatever. <laughs> um, either or. It's got a brake adjuster. It comes with the Deans, which I'm fine with that. I like Deans. Deans on all my stuff. Here's your battery tray. That's a little different. I guess that's okay. Um, it's got an indent in the battery tray. That's just kind of weird. It goes three quarters of it is up here nice and high, and then the last bit of it's dented in. I don't believe that'd bother the battery at all. It's just kind of strange how that's made. Oh, I see. This part of the battery box to keep it low center of gravity in the center of the car sets over the top of the transfer case in there. The transfer case is right there. That's why this part of the battery box is raised up. I see. Your transfer case is right here. All right. That makes sense. Here's your front mount motor. 550 can. Um, this new Red Cat motors look, these 550 cans look narrower but longer than the, than the old 550 cans. They do look different. Can't wait to give it a test. There's the servo right up front. It's got nice metal shocks. Got a really light oil. I will have to play with that oil a little bit. The back isn't too, too bad. The front, yeah, the front needs a little bit of work. No biggie. They come they come set to ready to run, guys. They don't come perfect. That is awesome. Get you guys back on the top view here. So like I said, guys, I've wanted one of these for a long time. I just didn't pull the gun on it because I had too many other cars that I wanted also. And where I had the Gen 7, it's been such a good truck, I kind of put it off. Here's your receiver box. I like that. It's got a fully enclosed receiver box. What I like about this compared to the Gen 7 already, just looking at it, guys, is the front motor. That gives me a level flat platform here so I can put a, I can put a cabin in here. I can put a, a you know, a little... A little cabin in here with the steering wheel and guys and still have the cab fit over the top and have it look proper unlike the gen 7 where it has a huge tower in the front you know the gen 7 has a huge tower And the Gen 7, wow, is a good, yeah, Gen 7 is a good uh, 9 sixteenths shorter. It's got to be a good 9 sixteenths shorter, guys. Wow, 
it's a good 5 8 shorter, 5 8 of an inch shorter than the Gen 8. So already the Gen 8's had an advantage because it's a little bit longer, a little longer wheelbase. Uh, this is the bumper for the Gen 7 versus the bumper on the Gen 8. I like the bumper on the Gen 8 better. But this is what I'm talking about. See, the, you got a center motor here. So you got a center tower. So you, your, your body, if you try to do anything here, you're already at the height of your post. So anything you put in here for a figure can only be a half a figure, and you really don't have any room to hold the body shell in here, a cab in here. Unlike this where they've lowered it. I like that. I like that a lot. The axle clearance looks the same. Looks like I still have roughly the same axle clearance. Uh, the Gen 7 is higher, though, in the center than the Gen 8, but that can be all to do with adjustment. There is some droop in there. And my Gen 7 doesn't have any droop at all. And droop isn't bad, guys, so... Don't get me wrong there. Actually, with this having a little more droop, it might actually go over bigger objects easier. It'll help bring the front end down quicker. This is my sound machine here I got on this. That's the Gen 7. That's the Gen 7 compared to that. You know, Gen 7 had a front battery with a center motor. This is going to have a center battery with a front motor. So I'm kind of interested to see how this works out, guys. I'm pretty interested. What I'm going to do is we're going to put the... I'm going to put the stock 550 motor back in the Gen 7. Right now it's got a 540 motor in it. And uh, I'm going to put the stock 550 back in it. I'm going to throw the stock Super Swampers back on it. And we're going to have a little uh, pull-off tug of war against the Gen 8. And we're going to see if the Gen 8 is going to become the new king. Of the crawlers of my uh, of my group here, because right now the Gen 7 is the king of my crawlers, guys, out of them all so far. And uh, who knows? Maybe we have a new king sitting right here on the table. From what I've seen, I think we might, guys. Look at that. That's a good body flex, guys. For a big car, too. The body shell is kind of big, but it fits it. I like the looks of it. I, I, I like it. It's got some suspension, guys. It's got some lift. It's higher than my hand. Just under a... Let me see. Nope. Just a, just a soda can, guys. That is pretty cool. So that's some good suspension right there, guys. That's pretty cool. You see it on the front. It's got a nice twist going to it. It's got a nice looking suspension going on there, guys. So there it is, guys. This is the Red Cat Gen 8 V2. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Larry at Mitchell's RCs, and uh, we'll see you again later. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I forgot, again, just to show you the remote real quick. It's just a standard, cheap Red Cat racing remote. It's the one you get with all their, uh, your, their normal Red Cats. Nothing special. They're a good remote. I like them. They're like a Fly Sky brand, I believe. But I, I like them. They work well. They have good range for what they are. And for a crawler, this is this is perfect. The only thing, I will probably end up changing it because I am going to run lights and I'm going to run other things on that Gen 8. So I'm going to want to be able to control them. That will be the only reason why I put it on a different remote. And then again, I'll probably just throw it on one of my Dumborg remotes there. Dumbos, Dumborgs, whatever. Them six channel remotes. So there again, guys, this is Larry at Mitchell's RCs. Thanks for coming over, and we'll see you later.